Take a look at these two paintings, one of which you must have seen before. Would you consider both of them comparable? Both the paintings are portrait paintings with extreme attention to detail. So, if given the choice, which one would you prefer to keep? Look at that beautiful yet enigmatic smile, those expressive eyes, the attention to detail. You must think I'm talking about the Mona Lisa, but no, I'm actually talking about this painting. I know, I know, she's not a looker, but this painting sure is. Notice how detailed everything is, how much attention the artist has given to every little thing. The texture of the fabric, the shades of the emblem to every wrinkle on the woman's skin. The amount of effort the artist put into making this painting makes it his Mona Lisa. I'll explain that in detail later. But first, what exactly is this painting showing? What's the story behind this painting and why is it so interesting? Let's find out in this episode of Artsight. Alright, so right off the bat, the painting does live up to its name. It's called the Ugly Duchess or the Grotesque Old Woman. And it does show an old woman with a grotesque head, a large forehead, two enormous ears, an upright, pointy nose, a philtrum that has enough length to land a plane, and a face full of wrinkles. The artist surely went overboard in making her look as ugly as possible. It is almost like she owed him a lot of money. But what is this woman doing? You can see that she is dressed magnificently, a corset to accentuate her withered breasts, an escoffian that was outdated even in the 1500s when this painting was made. She is holding a red flower bird, usually symbolizing a woman who is looking for a suitor. So she is in fact in search for a suitor to marry. Anybody interested? Quentin Metzies was the painter behind this creation. And what makes this painting so interesting is how the contrast is everywhere. This painting was made as a satire on women who never accepted their age. Women who dressed like young girls and assumed they were beautiful. The artist was inspired by the play In Praise of Folly, which explicitly made fun of women who still play the coquette or cannot tear themselves away from their mirror and do not hesitate to exhibit their repulsive, withered breasts. Do note that these are not my words. These are the exact words from the play. I think people of all age should feel comfortable wearing whatever they want to. But people back in 1500s were not that understanding. But there are many reasons why I find this painting so interesting. There is more to this painting than an ugly woman just looking at someone. Think about it. Despite the painting showing an ugly woman, it is made beautifully. The effort that went into making this speaks volumes. But why put so much effort into a satirical painting? The answer is because the artist wanted to create a contradictory painting. A beautiful painting of an ugly woman. For example, notice the hair strands of the woman. Not these, but these. Apart from painting the hair with detail, the artist scratched the paint to reveal the paint layer underneath it, to create this effect of frizzy hair strands, a great attention to detail. Then take a look at the woman. To give it depth and truly show the wrinkles, the artist used various shades of pink and brown and masterfully added it onto the subject. The result? You can see it for yourself. Every wrinkle, every skin fold, Every crease is clearly visible, along with the bone structure underneath the skin. Then there's the Escoffian. Look at this brooch. The artist used more than five shades of different colors to give it the golden hue. Along with that, he used a fine brush to give it the detailed, intricate pattern. All of this effort for a satirical painting? I don't think so. Then there's the pattern of a dress, the detailing on her Escoffian. Every little detail has been painted by hands. Metzis really put all his effort into this painting. And it worked. The Ugly Duchess is the painter's most famous painting. Just like Mona Lisa is Da Vinci's most famous artwork. Why is it his most famous work? Well, because the ugly face of the subject catches the attention. It is such a bizarre sight 
seeing this grotesque face all dressed up with a flower bud. But then the viewers start to notice the amount of effort that went into making this painting and the details can be appreciated after a closer, careful inspection. The reason why I call it the Mona Lisa of the artist is because this painting is filled with mysteries, still unsolved till this date. Just like the Mona Lisa has a mysterious smile, this woman has her unsightly face. I really feel bad for her, but then, she did not exist in real life, so it's alright. Also, it is worth noting that Quentin Metzies was actually a friend of Leonardo da Vinci. In fact, it was long debated that Metzies copied one of da Vinci's sketches to make this painting. But after careful analysis, it has been confirmed that Metzies and da Vinci used to exchange artworks and sketches and it was da Vinci who was inspired by this painting to make some sketches of grotesque heads. It turns out that da Vinci had a fascination with L-shaped and grotesque faces. But just like the Mona Lisa is still an enigma, the ugly duchess is also surprising us with new revelations. Art historians are now thinking that the ugly duchess might not be a woman after all. It is believed that the person you see here could be a man, a transvestite. It was common for men to dress up as women in, in plays and if there was a man who looked like this, people would definitely pay money to see him dress up as an old duchess looking for a suitor. Simpler times. In 2008, another mystery was solved when art historians realized that this is actually half the painting. There was another painting that was supposed to be placed right next to it. While this painting was in London, another painting, named The Old Man, was in Paris. When placed together, you get the grotesque old woman looking at the old man. The old woman and the old man made for each other. The old man also has exaggerated features such as a long nose, large ears, but perhaps Metzies did not want to work as hard as he did on this painting, and hence we get a simple profile portrait of an old man, or perhaps he made his students work on it. Whatever it was, let me place them together, there you go, forever together. With all the mysteries behind this painting, and a face that is uncanny yet captivating, it is safe to say that the ugly duchess is the Mona Lisa of Quentin Metzies. We do not know whether this was a man or a woman, or if this person actually existed at all. A recent study was published that stated that the ugly duchess might have been a real person, suffering from a rare disorder of the bones called Paget's disease, where the bones are inflamed, resulting in uneven, excessive growth. But I do not think that this was the case. It was just the artist trying to make something eye-catching and interesting. The Ugly Duchess inspired a lot of artists, including Leonardo da Vinci. But perhaps the most famous illustration that is inspired by this painting is the illustration of the Duchess in the famous book Alice in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. While Carroll never described the Duchess like the painting, John Tenniel looked at this painting and got the inspiration. He did make some alterations, but one can see the similarities between the two. Another graphic artist, Wenzel Holler, decided to put the old woman and the old man together in this print called King and Queen of Tunis. The ugly duchess is ugly, and yet the painting is beautiful. While all of her features are made to look bad, there is something about the expressive eyes that tells us something else. She stands there with hope in her eyes, not knowing that people are actually mocking her, making fun of her. All she cares is about a person to love her, to take her as she is. Those eyes do not show disappointment, shame or pain. All they show is hope, a hope for love. And that was all in the video. I hope you find something interesting here. If you liked the video, consider subscribing and Become a part of this art community. Till we meet next time, take care and have a nice day.